Julian Assange is about to get extradited to the U.S. of A. Yeah, it's official. I know, I just heard myself. Stay tuned for more. Yep, I guess it's official. I guess he's uh, getting deported to the U.S. or whatever the hell. Yep, Julian Assange, McGaffey. I mean, you know, the Hong Kong stuff that's happening over there. I mean, it's just crazy. It's one thing after another. Yeah, we'll finish in a bit. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of uh, my show. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, a, a bunch of things. But the main thing we're going to be talking about is uh, yeah, that Julian Assange is uh, finally going to get extradited to the U.S. It seems like um, they signed the papers late Wednesday night or Wednesday. Um, it's Thursday today. You're seeing this Friday morning. Um, and again, you know, I, I was as much as I wanted to break this news, I was just really busy and I didn't get a chance to like really make this video. But when I got home after a very, very long day, it's already Thursday afternoon, no one's still talking about it. So I was like, you know what, let me, uh, I guess, make a video and make some comments on this. And it's not just this, there's a few things I want to get off my chest and talk about. So the, U the UK, you know, the British authorities or whatever, you know, United Kingdom was forced by the US to sign extradition papers. So it's pretty much official. He's on his way to the US to stand trial for freedom of speech. He's probably gonna be facing 175, 175 years in prison for speaking the truth. Now, now that you know what's going on there, you guys have already been following the Julian Assange situation. If you guys are new to Julian Assange situation, listen, go do some research. There's tons you guys need to know about this, okay? Now, I think most of you guys already know about him and the situation and so on and so forth and how Literally, the First Amendment and the freedom of speech is on trial for all of us. Journalism is on trial. Um, and again, no matter where you stand on the journalism spectrum, whether you're fake news or, you know, um, a small, um, you know, news organization trying to reveal the truth, whatever, wherever you want to stand, it doesn't matter. Everyone's affected. No matter whether you're CNN or M MSNBC or you're, you know, some small YouTuber or some small publication, it doesn't matter. Everyone is going to be 1000% affected by this, no matter what. Okay. Literally journalism and freedom of speech is on trial. Now, he is not the only one on trial. It seems like they're going after John McGaffey real hard. If you guys don't know who John McGaffey is, um, again, I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but you know, he's another freedom fighter, another liberty fighter, another free, um, speaker of truth. To me, I just, and I love him for what he stands for. You know, meaning, you know, that he's not gonna take shit from nobody. He's really, you know, trying to push the truth out there and push the, the agenda of crypto and blockchain and all this other technology in the right direction. Remember, you know, he's, if you guys know about McGaffey virus, you know, uh, the, you know, the whole virus thing, that's the guy that's behind it. And he is very anti-government, very anti, you know, banks, very anti all that. So that's why I like him. Whether, I don't care about his personal life choices. You know, that's not the point. The point is that like, you know, he, he is now under attack for the same reason spreading the truth or you know threatening to spread the truth and having the ability to do so and he is now on the run you know again he just released a video yesterday as to where he was talking and saying that you know um they've been he got chased out of the u.s um <clears throat> sound familiar um he got chased out of the u.s you know and now he's afraid to go back and you know first they were trying to come after him with tax evasion which again it's not illegal to not pay taxes look it up um and so you know they went after him for that then after obviously he went to the bahamas somewhere where he didn't have to worry about the whole tax situation and he knows his laws very well then all of a sudden you know, the U.S. is now coming after him for, again, you know, um, attempted murder, um, money laundering, I don't know, a bunch of other shit, you know, that he shouldn't be coming, they shouldn't be coming in after him for. And um, why? So that as soon as they extradite him from wherever the fuck he's at, because of these charges, they'll drop those charges, just like he said, and just like we all know they will. And if you don't know, now you know. So they're going to drop those charges and then charge him with, you know, tax evasion or whatever the fuck they want to charge him with. Which again, the insanity of all this stuff is that if you do know your laws and you do know your constitution and you do know all that stuff, you know that it's all, you know, that, that's not a law. You know, you're not really supposed to be paying your taxes. You know, there's no real tax thing. That's another story for another day, for another video. I don't want to get into all the details of that, but they're coming after him. Not just after him, but they're coming after many, many people. They're coming after YouTubers. You know, if you're speaking the truth, okay? Or and what I mean by the truth is like, if you're speaking the truth of, uh, 
a certain agenda or a certain group, all of a sudden they don't want you to speak and they're shutting you down. And I know this ain't this is old news, you know the whole uh, you know uh, YouTube uh, art, what is it demonetization getting? What I get demonetized all the fucking time. Um, but the point is that you know now they're they keep doubling down and doubling down because again now you can't again even me I had to censor myself a little bit because I can't say certain words, I can't talk about certain topics, you know why? Because you know just as I speak, you know the algorithm picks up the words that I say and all of a sudden I get now just demonetized. I could get blocked and I can lose my channel for nothing. So there's a lot of people out there that are still talking about a lot of these things, you know, that are no-no topics and, you know, they're getting in trouble for that. Or they're talking about, like, whatever it is that they're talking about, you know, and they're upsetting another group and then that other group is making, you know, um, them get demonetized and get silent. So, you know, we're, we're getting silence on a lot of spectrums here, you know, we're getting silence on YouTube. You know, individuals are getting silenced, you know, like again, like Julian Assange, like John McGaffey. And now let's move on to another place. Let's move on to Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, I don't know if you guys are aware, but now um, there's been protests. I don't know how long they've been, but I, I don't know the exact situation there. But there's protests, you know, going on in Hong Kong because I think they're about to go to a vote. And what are they going to vote on? Well, in China, you know, Hong Kong is, is part of China, but it's not part of China. Hong Kong is kind of like its own separate entity in which they follow completely different laws as China. So a lot of people go to China, go to, go to Hong Kong to escape China. Because again, in China, if you speak your mind, you speak the truth, if you say something that the government doesn't like, they come after you and they make you disappear. So a lot of people, you know, that are journalists or they're trying to um, spread the truth or they're trying to, you know, just you know, have freedom, freedom of speech, you know, what they end up doing is that they have to end up uh, escaping or they have to end up, you know, becoming uh, immigrants, you know, to Hong Kong and they end up living in Hong Kong. And again, Hong Kong is kind of like a safety net, a safety place. But now, all of a sudden now, China um, doesn't, you know, they know what's going on there. So what they're doing is that they're, they're passing a new extradition bill and um, there's millions of people, I don't know, maybe millions is too much, but there's almost a million people on the streets of Hong Kong, you know, protesting this bill. And they're cracking down on the protest and it's kind of violent-ish, you know, and it's not necessarily going well. But again, you know, why are, you know, why are they pushing so hard? And why, you know, why are both sides pushing so hard? Well, the people know what's at stake here. If all of a sudden they pass this law, that means that all of a sudden Hong Kong is almost China now. That means if you do anything wrong, now again, it's like you're in China. Hong Kong is like the West, you know, Hong Kong is more like the United States or Europe or whatever. Sure, things aren't great, but it's still like the West. So now if all of a sudden they change these laws, well, guess what, you know, they can make you disappear if you say the wrong thing and and, and so on and so forth. So they're, they're doing a lot of silencing around the world. They're doing a lot of censoring around the world and that can go on and on and on. But the point of this video is more to just let you guys know of what's going on okay the fact that again there's even more censoring going on in other parts of the world you know let's talk about crypto for a millisecond you know all of a sudden you know even though russia and venezuela are using crypto in order to transfer value you know one from one country to another you know all of a sudden russia is now coming out with regulations saying hey we should we, crypto should be illegal unless you're using you know bitcoin or some other russian approved cryptocurrency then it's 100% illegal and they're pushing for that they're pushing for it to become illegal in India and you already know that it's kind of semi illegal in China and so on and so forth one second guys sorry about that I just wanted to get rid of some noise that's coming out from the backyard um, but yeah like I was saying there's a lot of crackdown when it comes to pretty much everything not just the crypto space but mainly the freedom of speech and our ability to be able to speak freely, our ability to be able to spread knowledge, our ability to be able to, again, educate not just ourselves, but educate everybody else. This is the modern day book burning. Look what's happening with Amazon, where certain books are not allowed. They don't sell certain books. They don't have certain books. Same thing as online. You, know, you can't find certain information and so on and so forth. And we're moving into a scary spot where, you know, you know, we kind of want and need all of a sudden paper books and we kind of need, you know, paper information because everything is becoming digitized and uh, we're not going to be able to have it or access it all of a sudden. Again, why all this crypto stuff is very important. Why I talk about Bitcoin, why I talk about EOS and blockchains and all these other things because, you know, we need to have the ability to have all this stuff digitized, stored forever, 
not be able to get book burned or eliminated by a country or a state or a, a bank or any kind of uh, you know entity and so on and so forth so all of a sudden with this new technology we don't have that fear anymore you know and we have more control and and and, and so on and so forth you know remember you know a lot of what this crypto stuff is is basically you know um it's 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 something to for so that it's something so that governments and banks can't censor us anymore okay because look today i was out and about with my girlfriend she was trying to get internet for her new place and uh all of a sudden it was just like a headache you know just like when it is you know when you go to comcast or you go to time warner you go to go get cable internet and, and back in the states or you go to the dmv or something like that and to her it's still it's kind of new because they're just now getting this whole service system now, I'm, not, I'm not talking about internet they've had internet and all that shit here forever but just the way when we went there it was like going to comcast or going to the dmv and the whole thing was a mess and everything was just you know um um paper. It, it was just just like back home and she was just like what the f you know and, and then she started now to realize a lot more when I talk about the control that the system has over us. Because again, remember, she barely has a bank account. Most people out here are not on the grid. The whole system works off the grid and they're trying to put the whole system on the grid. And this is just one of those things. And I was explaining to her, it was just something that the landlord owed a bill and the landlord has to pay. And, and until the landlord pays, she can't get internet, something like that. But it was just, I was just trying to explain to her, look, you see how they grab you by the balls and you got to like do as they say, you got to pay your bill you got to this and sometimes they make bills out of nowhere they got to do all the all the system i don't gotta explain the system to you guys you already know how the system works and if you don't comply they eliminate you they censor you they quiet you they do all these things and this is like the problem that we're all facing right now where we're all getting censored okay again julian assange can only accept bitcoin or cryptocurrency you know what I mean? And, and the, you, you couldn't have a bank account. Look what's all happening, you know, with you know other parts of the world. You know, if you, uh, no, no matter what you hear about China, um, sure, there's a lot of people that are okay and happy with getting censored, just like in the U.S. Where everybody, you know, there's a, a major group that is okay with the government, but there's also a major group that is not okay with the government. There's a major group again in China and other parts of the world that are not okay with control, that are not okay with any of this stuff, and they're also on our team pushing back and fighting back because they understand that the power is of the people and we need to give that power back to the people. So, to end this video, guys, I need you to spread this knowledge. And again, I would greatly appreciate if you spread this, you know, share this video and, and, and do all that stuff and give thumbs up and leave comments and, and all that good stuff because, and watch as much as you can about it. Well, it was a little too late for that, but why? Because that all helps the algorithm that helps my video, you know, get spread out to more people. But you don't have to do that. You know, even if you just get this information and just spread it to out to more people, even make another video, literally, you know, verbatim saying what I'm saying. I don't care. Spread this knowledge. And not just spread the knowledge, but we need to act upon these things now, okay? That's it. The time has come. You know, we're literally at that war right now. You know what I mean? Like right now, it's, it's happening. And look, look at what happened earlier today where an oil tanker, you know, um, got, you know, got hit by some missiles or attacked and all of a sudden the U.S., on clockwork, you know, was already saying, hey, Iran attacked, Iran, it was all Iran's fault, we gotta go and bomb Iran. Now, again, if this was 20 years ago, we would be at war with Iran, but since a lot of us now are more awake to the fact that what they're trying to do is just cause a war and keep the military industrial complex going and so on and so forth, you know, we now look at that and we're like, I don't think so. No way, Jose. <laughs> or what have you okay and that's the thing so we need to do more and more of that and the more we teach the more we learn the more we spread this knowledge the more equipped the better equipped we are to take all this on I really appreciate a lot of you guys asking me more about Bitcoin and crypto and, and all this other stuff. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos uh, because of Mexico or you watch my videos because of so many other things. I, I talk about so many things on this channel. But again, you know, I, I, it doesn't matter what you're asking me about, whether you're asking me about Mexico because you're probably thinking about escaping or you're asking me about crypto because you're probably thinking about, you know, uh, saving your wealth. You know what I mean? Like uh, making sure that your wealth doesn't get taken away from you and so on and so forth. It doesn't matter. Please ask and talk and let's continue this conversation. And more importantly, please go to my discord there's a link at the bottom discord is a community that, that um, i've created well discord is a program that it's kind of like aol whatever chat room where again i have a bunch of things in there where you can just join and there's a whole community of other 
people that watch my channel it's literally my channel's discord so my whole community is there and you can go in there and ask and look at all the rooms that i have you can you know find out information look at all kinds of really instructional videos talking about all kinds of stuff and you can continue this process of learning and it's not just videos of me and not just information about me but other channels and other information and there's a bunch of people in there that you can chat with and talk with about all kinds of stuff in case i'm not around Okay, so please join the Discord and, and be part of the conversation. And um, more. And, and also, you know, um, I'm also live on DLive and on Twitch every Monday and Thursday nights. I know it's Friday and you guys are, you know, missed yesterday's boat, but if you guys are around next Monday night, check us out. The links are at the bottom, okay? And, you know, you, you, you might uh, have some fun and you might learn some other stuff. I also have a live show on Wednesday. I also upload every single day and so on and so forth. And if, please, you guys have any suggestions for any future videos, you guys have anything you guys want me to talk about or answer or anything, please, by all means, leave a comment below. And if, if not, again, ask in the Discord. I even got a room dedicated to that stuff and so on and so forth. So please. You gotta be, we gotta get involved. It's not just listening to videos. You also, we all have to get involved, okay? Don't be scared anymore, for reals. There's nothing to be scared of. There's more of us than there is of them, okay? You already know what to do. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are beyond the best. I love you guys. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to every single one of you guys out there that sends donations to me all the time. You know, whether it's Digibyte or Bitcoin or PayPal or Cash App, it doesn't matter. It's, it's all greatly appreciated. Shout out to all of you guys. I, I love you guys. Lambo is nice and, you know, well fed. Finally, he's not chewing on my shoes anymore. I think it's because they stink and, you know. But anyways, but still, thank you guys. I love you guys. And uh, last but not least, don't forget to please like i mean hold on <laughs> last but not least don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and uh more importantly than anything else stay awesome and uh i love you guys thank you so much and i'll smell you later peace